Right, hello everybody. I'm back again. Now I've got some uh, some tin. I think it's in my person. Yes, and I've got plenty of iron in here now. So I need to make a crescent hammer. I think it's uh, this recipe fairly straightforward. Three iron, one of those will do. And the reason I need to do this is because I place these rather badly. I need to press them on the top. Anyway, a crescent hammer is very important. I've also extended the platform a little bit more, planted some dirt down, and planted these pumpkin seeds I got from the last quest. So that'll give me some food, because it is getting a bit urgent. And the way I'm going to fill these up here, let's do this first of all. We need, oops, wrong one. I always forget to do that. What I want to do is I want some more bu buckets and we need we've got three here so we need seven buckets so seven that's 21 in fact I won't make so many I'll just make I'll just make a couple of buckets I thought the easiest way to do it is going like this take the middle one drop it down one two and then I'm going to put these into the um, hopper. I have to be careful I don't turn them into lava. I think lava is the, is the next one. That, let's have a look. Oh, let's actually put two of them in there. In here I've done 20 hits. Now tw 20 hits is 4,000 life points. Now, we got, and I'm a bit short of food, so that's why I did these. Let's, I think I just need to chop those down with an axe, if I remember correctly. I get plenty of melons, and I really do need to eat, because I need to get on with this quest. Fortunately, melons are not that nutritious. But they, they they generate quite a lot over time, I think. So, right, now, let's get the quest delivery system put down somewhere. I shall put it down here, I think. And I need to feed onto this thing. I think I will put it on the top. I don't know whether I need fluid ducts or not, to be honest with you. Maybe I just need the... Maybe I just need the, um, the tank. Let's just try it. Okay, now we have to change this tank to being an output tank. Simply right-click it with a crescent hammer. Now it changes to output mode. And then I can put the buckets of blood in there. So I can go... One... Two... Oh, oh, I think I made a mistake. I have made a mistake. What I need to do, first of all, is to take the quest book and get the quest I need set up. So, right, I'll write the quest book. So this is the one we want. So we just select this task here. So it's now selected. And we simply right click the book onto here. And when I look at the book now, it says zero. So let's go back again. After having wasted two buckets of blood, that was a bit strange. Where's the other bucket gone to? Anyway, now there's six buckets left back in here. Let's put that in that hopper. And take these three out of here. And put these. Oh, we do need to be careful this time. Let's put that one in there. Well, as soon as that turns to a bucket, I need to take it out. And let's put this one into there. Now let's have a look at the, the book, the quest book. Of course, it's in the wrong place. We have now submitted three buckets, I think. And it's 30% done. And so that, that system does work quite nicely and quite easily. 
So let's put the next bucket down here. But I'm a bit surprised. I don't know what happened to my other bucket. Anyway, we've got another melon. Let's eat these. And chop down this one. And let's wait for the next melons to to press to be built, to be made, to grow. Right. So I'm losing track of what I've done here. Let's put another bucket on that so anyway. Four buckets, that was right. Oh, right, I run out of blood. It's grey. I have to very quickly come along here now and submit a bit more. That's it. So we we know we're roughly at zero now, so that's also quite good. And put you on the output tank and wait, eat some more. Right, good. So now when you can do, we've got 10 health and the, uh, the heart can still, still hasn't registered. So let's go back and where's my dagger of sacrifice? Oh, sacrificial knife. Dagger of Sacrifice comes later. So let's do 10 of these. 6, 7, 9, 10. And put the bucket in. Wait for the bucket to finish. And do the next bucket. Get two buckets for ten. Eat some more melons and repeat this process until. So now let's have a look. I think we must have about so oh, seventy three more buckets to go. There's a tiny weeny bit of blood in here from something or other I can easily use that up but time being we'll just wait. Right, I think I need another melon. In fact I can do another five hearts. Five being oops wrong button. Put the bucket in there. Take the quest book out of the way. Wait patiently, right here it is. Six. Now I have to simply wait till we've got some more food. Right, I can eat another melon. That two. No more have grown, but they will be doing so. And you can't bone meal these, I don't think. Um, maybe you can. So now I've got five hearts, so another one. Another bucket. Put this one in again. Eat another one. And when it's complete, that should be 90% now. What should happen is the quest book will say, this, this sign disappears off the quest. So look, yes. Just one more bucket. And I think we'll wait to do that. My hearts have come back to five and a half. Which is a bit risky, but we'll do it anyway. Got six, five. Right, last bucket in there. Let's take the bucket. Let's submit the bucket. That should be it. Now the sign disappeared, and I can now come back and claim the reward. But what I'll do is I'll take one golden apple, I've got plenty of those, and eat that. That gives me a reasonable amount of health. That's the quest book. It's 
claim reward. Oh, we've got another heart canister. Let's put that up in here. And I think at this stage it should start to register those. We shall see. And let's have a look at the quest book again. I forgot to look at that last time. So now I've got two new quests. One here is the Soul of the Dam, the repeatable quest. And this one here is basically you've got to kill five of their skeletons and um, zombies. So in order to do that, I it's best to make a mob spawner. So that was. So then when I do that, I get four these four copper. I get one notch apple and eight golden apples which I can choose between and reward bags and diamonds. Generally the reward bags are basic so you don't get anything very useful at this stage. And oh was the other quest? There was a second quest wasn't there? This one. Oh no, they're not available yet. Just this one that's available. Alright, so I have to do that. Simple as that. Okay. I shall go and build myself a little mob spawner, or at least get the materials ready for it, and and I'll lead, um, I'll be using stone, I think, or cobblestone at least, because uh, it's a little bit stronger than wood, and if I do get a creeper exploding, I'm have a problem. So, I'll do that until next time. Bye for now. Oh, hello again. I've been quite busy extending the platform, mostly underneath. And I also dropped it down another level because I got it wrong and I was too high up. I need to have two blocks underneath so I can walk underneath. This is like this. And because I put the slabs on the lower half of the block, there's no chance of mob spawning here, which is great. So, as you can see, I've extended the platform in all sorts of different directions. And here is where I ha intend to have the mob spawner. And I've got space underneath in case I want to have something else to eat. I'm a bit hungry. Been so making so much stone and wood. What I'm going to do is a relatively simple design to start with. Here I've got um, the blood altar, the second blood altar. You have two. And what I'm going to do is put a, a slab on top of it like this. Let me just get some. I need some wood, don't I? I've just made another 40 stair dirt. And the calculation is very easy. So for 10 cuts, you need 40 um, string. If you've got, if you want to make um, cobblestone you need to have eight because each cobblestone is 250. And netherrack is somewhere between I haven't calculated 150 so you can figure that out yourselves. Right anyway some wood. I need to do some climbing up don't I so let's go down here again. Oh wrong way. over here what I want what I'm going to do is build it I think is it five by five I think it's probably a good size I just didn't need any wood right hungry again let's eat some more melons so this is where the opening is going to be here so the mobs will drop down and they'll just expose their feet so that's the intention so what I'm going to do is stick a block here in fact, it's probably a good idea to put some more dirt down so I can get down again. And then this block will disappear. So let's just drop. Let's come out of that together. So this block will disappear here. So my very weak pickaxe. I hope I don't have to use it too many times. So, oops. I need to go back. Let's do that like that. Oops, and again. Right. So this is going to be the opening. And I'm going to make it... I 
think I said five by five. I hope I've got enough stone, by the way. A five by five. Uh, it's actually a four by four. I want three spaces in the middle where they can, where the mobs will drop and spawn. Right. So this is, I think, is where I want it. change this design. I haven't done this one before, but I then I want it uh, three blocks high. For end of end to spawn. I think that is three blocks. One, two, three. Hold on. Yes, so I need a fourth block on top of that. Let's just put the fourth one on top there. That'll be for the, the roof. So we can just drop down here now. I don't think I'll shift that is. So that is going to be the, the overall sort of size of the thing. So it'll be small. Yes. I'll put it, I'll fill in the corners as well. Right, so, so now I'm going to now fill this in. Make sure that the mobs actually drop down. I will be. I'm not sure if I can do it at the moment. No, I think I need some machines to make gravel. I could make a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will allow me to um, push, move the move the mobs along. Is that right? I'll put a torch in here as well before I forget. In fact, thinking about it, I need to put some slabs on the top, don't I? In case mobs start spawning and dropping down. So I quickly didn't get some wooden slabs because they're pretty cheap. We don't have enough, of course. Eleven slabs. Have I got any more wood around? No. Right, let's make a few bits of wood while I'm thinking about this. So we do ten of these. Wait for half, there's your tenth. Can't eat anything yet. And then we need ten blocks of uh ten blocks of wood. And that gives me forty chopped wood. Put the forty chopped wood in here and it'll just process happily. Actually, I'm not too far off. Right, I can eat now. So let's get on with it. Right, good. There won't be that many mobs spawning to start with. In fact, I'm going to just pull. In fact, I've got should have press F7 so we can see what's what's going on. Yes, you see, lots of spawn areas here. Um, I think for the time being, I shall just put a torch there, and that'll stop them spawning there. So I don't think I've got enough stone, have I? I think I didn't count properly. Never mind. That's four, isn't it? I've got a lot of stone to make. Oh, blow. Never mind, I shall go that, I'll go away and do that and come back when it's done. Until then, bye for now. Well, welcome back again. I think I now have enough stone to do, to finish this off. I really did underestimate that. It should be easy to calculate. It's a five by five, so that's uh, by five, which is 125 blocks, I think, minus three by three by three which is 27 plus 128 for the whole. So, I can walk under this quite happily. I need to get rid of this torch before I do anything else. So 
those mobs won't be able to spawn. Better put down some dirt so I can get up. Oh, in fact, I'll move the watering can out of the way as well. Right, as soon as I let's do this, as soon as I remove this torch here, you should see everything being red. Now that I have to eat again, of course. Actually, it's yellow. That's interesting. Yellow. Why is that yellow? Is that because I haven't finished stuff yet? Anyway, let's put the rest of the blocks in. With a bit of luck, in a short while, when I get out of the way, mobs will spawn and drop down here. Then I can bash their feet with a with a sword, and maybe pick up what I need. Must have, must be must be the light from that. I think I can do better than that. And the reason it's above the blood altar, in a later quest we will be making something else. Let's have a look what we're going to be making. Um, it is the sacrificial. Which I can't spell. I S C. Nope. All right, before uh, sacrificial, did I? Yes. So I need to be making this dagger of sacrifice, and this is an iron sword in a level a tier two blood altar. Now we've not made a tier two blood altar yet. We make that using runes. Now here's actually a rune of sacrifice, and a standard rune, which I thought was in this one. So look, rune. is this one a blood rune so what we need is a weak blood orb which we don't have yet and some blank slates and some six smooth stone and the weak blood orb is a diamond in a tier one altar with 2000 lp actually i can make that because i have got a diamond because of a rewards from another quest and yes while we're waiting for mobs to spawn let's do that 2000 LP, so that's uh, right. Actually, that's not that much, is it? It's just 10 of these. Right, that's enough. Oops, blood. Let's get the diamond out. And put the diamond. Oh, actually, probably easiest to do is stick it in the hopper. The hopper's great. It means it doesn't have to be in your hot bar to get it in. Right, eat again. Now, we also need to cook up some stone. I think we shall cook up 12 stone. So put two of those in there and that. And let's see how much smooth stone we need for this. It was four plus four is eight. Okay, and I shall remove four of these out of here. Because to make a rune you have to put a you have to create these blank slates. Actually I miscalculated, haven't I? Oh, we need lots, that just makes one. So we need to make lots of smooth stone and blank slate. Now blank slate is also just a smooth stone in a altar, a tier one altar. And so we therefore we need eight times eight, sixty-four smooth stone or 64 stone that's quite a few so that's something i'm going to be doing later on and here we have my weak blood orb now the weak blood orb is also quite useful i have to now right click it so make sure i've got some health because it, it hurts a little bit so right now at the moment if i press escape here it's stores raw life essence which we're actually not using at the moment but we will be later on so when I right click this, it takes one heart away. So now I look at this, and now it's current owner's buddy buddy, that's me. Still no mob spawned, huh? I can't hear anybody in there. 
Ah, but you can see the red, the red markers. And I'm pretty certain I'm not in the same chunk. Let me press the chunk viewer to see. I'm pressing F9. Yes, you see, that's a different chunk. So they should spawn. I think they've got enough space. Melons have grown. Quite good, these melons, actually. Okay. I think there's nothing to do at the moment until some of these guys spawn. Hmm. Okay. In the meantime, I shall make some more stone in order to make these runes, because that's going to come up. It's actually part of the quest, one of the quests after we've done this quest, but if it's not doing anything, I might as well help myself do something else, huh? Okay, until next time, bye for now.